Now we want to get you up to date on an incredible story of survival for an 80-year-old Cock County woman after Helene hit the area. Listen to this. She says she swam through the floodwaters to safety after getting swept away with her dog. Again, she's 80. Six on your side reporter Dominic Webster is in Cock County and has her incredible story. Dominic. Yeah, Bo and Lori, this story is nothing short of incredible. 80-year-old Sheila Kreveling lives on, French, or on the French Broad River along River Chase Trail. It runs parallel to the river. And as those floodwaters rose from the French Broad, she found in herself in a battle for her life. As the rising water from the French Broad overtook homes along River Chase Trail, Sheila Kreveling, along with her dog, found herself in a battle of life and death. He was afraid, and he turned around and looked at me, and he drowned. That's when I didn't want to live anymore. But I have a son. I said, you can't do that. So the river, the current was about 55 miles per hour, and it was taking me towards the center of the river. So when I got too close to the center, way down, I swam back. Sheila says as she was battling the current and dodging debris, there was only one thing on her mind, swim. You can do this. You don't want to die. So swim. And I can swim. So that's what was on my mind. You can do this. So do it. Her son lives on the other side of the country. An officer who found Kreveling called him to let him know she was safe. Officer Weber, 1B, held my hand, asked me where my son was. I said, well, he's in Oregon. And he had, of course, been watching it on TV. So he found his phone number, and I don't know how. But he called him, and he said, I have your mother, and she's alive, but the little dog has drowned, and my son said, oh, my God. Kreveling was taken to the hospital to make sure she was okay, and when she was able to return home, the damage left was unimaginable. It was total devastation. However, I was warned in increments, <laughs> I guess so I wouldn't have a heart attack or something, and I just looked at it, and I said, well, it's gone. But my dog was found and buried in the front yard. And I'll never leave this property. No matter what I have to do, I'll stay here. She has received an outpouring of support from the community as she continues to clean, something she is thankful for. But I'm so grateful to all the people that came here and worked so very hard, people I don't even know. And Kreveling also told me that she's had two knee replacements on one leg, two hip replacements on the other, and all that within the last five to seven years. And she still battled the waters like a real warrior. Now, she also said that she's going to assess what can be built on her property after she cleans up the mess that's already there and see what she can build. Reporting live in Cock County, Dominic Webster 6 on your side. Oh, Dominic, what a story. Wow. Thank you. And, you know, we're told that right now, no one can go into Sheila's home unless they have the proper protective equipment. Right. It's really bad right now. There's so much mold that has formed, and in situations like this, that mold can form so quickly. Yeah, it really can. And we should also point out here that Sheila is also urging parents to have their kids learn to swim because you never know when you'll be in a situation where swimming can save your life. Isn't that the truth? Yeah.